Hey, you guys, I'm back um, with another taco bong. And I also have a chili dog. I'm sorry, you guys, I had already started recording and um, I had some interruptions and I had already started eating. So um, thanks, guys, for joining me in the middle of this video, in the middle of my mess. Um, but tonight I have tacos. Again, can't get tired of tacos. Who doesn't love tacos? Okay. So anyway, tonight I decided to do tacos again. It's, it's Tuesday. Um, so the last time I had tacos, I had um, different toppings and I was asking some people about what, you know, non-traditional toppings they put on their tacos. So tonight um, I've already eaten one taco, guys. <laughs> like I said, does that look crumb? Yeah, these taco shells are crunchy. Um, I had already said grace. I had already started eating. I have salsa. I have mayo. I have some avocado that I cut up with some sea salt and black pepper. And again, like I said, I have a chili dog, which was made uh, with um, a piece of chicken sausage that I tried, some chicken sausage I had tried. I had tried it um, with a seafood boil, a little seafood boil, but um, I didn't like it. I just fried it. So this time I... Um, Paw boiled it. I boiled it, and I just crisped it up just a little bit in the pan. But anyway, um, tonight the ingredients I have for my tacos are lettuce, tomatoes. I have some jalapeno peppers, pickled jalapeno peppers, some fresh mushrooms, um, some cucumbers, some pickled ginger, and some white onions. And so, you guys, you know how. Um, you fix your tacos. Tacos can be really messy and the shells aren't really that huge. Um, and I love the taco shells. So what I decided to do was I decided to put my toppings into my meat. My taco meat, taco meat. Good idea. Great idea. Terrific idea. I know. So yeah, guys. So I mixed all those toppings I just told you all about, except the lettuce. I did not put the lettuce in here. I'm not crazy about lettuce and I forgot my lettuce. Um, it's over there, but I'm not going to get up and get it. Um, on my chili dog, I just have like the chicken sausage, um, some of the taco meat without the veggies and stuff in it, without the toppings and some mayo on top. I've already taken a couple of bites of that. Delicious. Um, I think I already said I had salsa mayo and I'm drinking just some... Um, pink lemonade flavor packet. Ooh, I didn't mean to show that. Um, water and this nice little glass. Mm. Oh, so good. But you guys, I am starving. Put my avocado over there. So I'm going to make this taco. Sit still, Bo. And y'all, you can, when you put your, mix your um, toppings, I didn't, you, you know, mix the toppings in all of the taco meat because if my husband eats some or the baby you know they probably wouldn't want all the stuff that i have on my taco but look at all that meat you can get in there and toppings come on now and you can save room for your lettuce or your cheese or whatever you like to put on it so i've eaten one taco like i said and i had mayo on that one so i think i'm gonna put some salsa on this one look at that y'all it's gonna be good. Oh Lord, I'm getting this. This is some thick and chunky salsa, the Walmart brand, and it is hot, hot and spicy, hot and spicy. Y'all, lay that up there. So I hope you guys are doing okay tonight. I had already said, um, bless the food. I had already said grace. So I'm getting it in y'all. And sorry, I brought y'all in like this. Just forgive me. But there it is with the salsa. Doesn't it look good? Guys, the last time I had tacos, 
I was rushing and I put the shells in the microwave. You can do it, but it's not recommended. I put them in the oven this time and I had the timer on, but I still left them in a little longer. So they're like tearing up when I bite into them. Mm -mm. Y'all, yeah. this is going to end up being nachos instead of tacos. My whole shell just broke on the bottom. I got it too crispy this time. Last time it wasn't crispy enough in the microwave. But it's so good. Mm. And I have the nacho. Nacho cheese flavored shells. Plain shells. Once you have the nacho, you don't want the plain anymore. This is so good. Mm. I'm trying to hold it together, y'all. <laughs> I ain't older together. Mm. So, let me get this spoon out of here. Right there. It's so good. So I hope you guys are doing okay tonight. Hope you had a wonderful day. This is my birthday month. October 26th is my birthday. Mm. Guys, this will make a um really good nacho dish. Let me scoop it up with the um nacho chips, the tortilla chips. But anywho. I'm devouring this. It's so good. Mm. Mm. I got all this taco filling mm. down here. You already know. Whatever I don't get in the taco shells. Got some tortilla chips over on the side. Yep. Mm. Y'all, I was so hungry. So hungry. The baby was like having a fit. The washing machine kept scaring him. And that don't, it normally doesn't scare him. But it was like making a little knocking noise. I thought. Maybe I didn't have the clothes in there. You know how it is sometimes. But this is the sausage dog. You know. Chicken sausage. Let y'all get a uh, well. No, nah, y'all don't want to bite because I already bit. Just showing it to you. I already bit off of it, so I know y'all don't want to bite. Hmm. Mm, that's not bad. Mm, that is not bad at all. Oh. Um, you know, it's been um it's been kind of a long day. I got home, got in kind of late. This is avocado. I love avocado. I put a little lemon juice on it too, but it's still turning a little brown, but it's good. And I like getting them just a little fine. Not mushy. Because I don't make guacamole. I just eat it like with different meals and stuff. So now I'm eating it with my chili dog. Avocado. Chill it off. Mm, wait a minute. This sausage is so big. Look at that. And I boiled it this time. And it tastes much better than when I just fried it for the um little pre 
preview seafood bowl that I did. But that's a meal in itself. You guys, I don't know if I'm going to make it to another taco. I really do want another one. I think I probably will. But I would already eaten one. I have this sausage dog, this huge chili dog. It's avocado. Mm. But it's all good. Oh, I'm going to talk to you all about something. Have you all um, have you all heard about the um, young lady um, in Texas who was shot in her home by a police officer? Her neighbor had called the police um, department to do a welfare check on her, and um, he said the next thing he know he called to have a welfare check, and the next thing he know he hears gunshots. So the cop, you know, I've been following the story. If you all haven't followed the story, I mean, you know, we just got over the trial with um, the Amber Geiger trial with um, her killing the guy that she thought was in her apartment when she was in the wrong apartment. And now this young black woman with her future ahead of her just shot dead in our own apartment. And I think he shot the police officer who was white and the young lady was African-American and the um, officer Caucasian. But, um, you know, not even bringing in the race car, but what is going on with, you know, these police officers? Well, I don't even want to get into it. We know we've, we've had so many um, unarmed black people, people of color, um, just you know, unarmed and killed in cold blood, but I'm neither judge nor jury, but I know that um, the FBI wants to question this police officer um, that recently shot um, this young lady. I think it was in Fort Worth. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that, guys. But um, yeah, it's, it's just, uh, you know, it just makes you makes you wonder, man. You know, if you if the police is killing you, who's gonna protect you? Um, it's just something to think about. But I know the FBI wants to question the cop involved, and I think he's already resigned. And I think they've played back um, the body cam recording. Mm, my shirt is kind of lopsided. Let me see if I can style my shirt up here. All right. Um, I think he has resigned, but the body cam, I, I think um, his superiors were saying that he never um, stated the fact that he was a police officer. Um, just so many things, so much more to follow. I'm going to follow it more, but I was just reading up on it, I think, earlier today, guys, and it just sad me so much, you guys. And um, yeah, it's, it's just a brand time. But anywho, um, on a lighter note, like I said, it is my birthday month. Oop, oop, oop. I'm going to try, probably try to record something for my birthday. <laughs> my husband asked me what I wanted to do. My family's been asking me what I want to do. And I really don't want to do, I really don't want to do anything, really. Um, maybe get like, and I, I love ice cream cake. So I always ask my husband to get me an ice cream cake. I'm going to fix them. Um, I know y'all came to see me eat and not talk. But um, let me fix up this taco while I'm talking. But yeah, my birthday. Well, I did want to go to the beach. I wanted to go to it to the beach, you know, just for um that weekend. Even my birthday is on a Saturday, on um, the 26th. So, oh yeah, yeah, I'm stuffing it, y'all. When you do it like this, when you mix your toppings in with your taco meat, you can get more in there. You get all your toppings. You get your meat. 
And I'm gonna put that salsa was good up here. So I'm gonna I'm not gonna do mayo this time because I got mayo on my chili dog. And y'all, like I said, I got all this taco filling in here. So good. Mm. Lord, don't let me make a mess. Mm. I didn't want to put my spoon back in there because I had eaten some of the avocado on there. You know, eh, might have somebody over, my husband. He'll, he'll, I don't care, but I wouldn't do that. Nobody will do that. You don't double dip. Mm. Come on, salsa. But yeah, uh, my birthday, like I was saying, I did want to, um, Maybe go to the beach that Saturday, which is on my birthday, and just stay till Sunday. I'm on the East Coast, so the beach is like, <laughs> what, two hours away? A two-hour drive, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you kind of see this? I'm putting on this bowl that way. Oh, now y'all see my mess. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's okay, y'all. Well, you know what your girl gonna do. Scoop it on up. Got some little scoopers. <laughs> like Nate um, from B Love's Life. B Love's Life husband, he always said her she got some at the advantage because she got some scoopers. Yes, beloved. They do come in handy. I don't have any room to put it on back on the taco shell, y'all. Self forgive me. But um, yeah, my birthday. It's my birthday month. It's my birthday month. I'm excited. I just thank God for another year. Pray that I live to see it. Like I said, it's not until the 26th of this month. Mm. But y'all, mm, these tacos with all my toppings mixed in. Mm, it's delicious. But uh, getting back to the shooting in Texas, I don't want to dwell on it too long, but um, I don't know if these officers, there There goes the bottom of my top. It's nachos now, y'all. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to fight with <laughs> I'll let it have its way. But I don't know if these officers need more training. Um psychological evaluations, which I thought they supposedly had. Mm, what is this? I'm just gonna... Like I said, that's just water with a pink lemonade. I think I used Weilers. I didn't even use um, Crystal Light. Weilers is just as good. <laughs> Y'all can tell I'm a bargain shopper. But um, yeah, I don't know if they need more training. I don't know. It's it's just a praying time. So we are definitely praying for that young lady's family. Um, just praying for the city, for the state of Texas. People want answers, and that's you know understandable. And um. If you guys have some more information, comment, please comment and let me know what you know um, as far as the young lady who was shot in her home in, in Texas. I want to I wanna say it was Fort Worth, but I'm not sure. Y'all, these has come from, from Taco Tuesday to Nacho Tuesday. Mm. 
so good and juicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, forgive my hair. It's been a long day. Oh, honey, child. This wig is going every which way. I came home. Um, got in kind of late. Later than normal. Fed the baby while we were out. And came home and fixed the tacos, which tacos doesn't take long. So that's a plus. But that seafood bowl, man, that's going to be a beast. And see, I cook my seafood bowls myself because trying to get a, a good seafood bowl from around here, it's okay. But I like mine with the B-Love sauce. I already, I already have my sauce made. So basically, I um, um just got to cook cook my seafood bowl. And like I said, it's a lot of work doing it yourself. So that's why it's taking me so long to get it recorded, guys. But I promise you, I might take that back, but I I, I am definitely going to do it. I'm going to do it. I already have everything I need right here. I just have to get myself motivated to get everything prepared. And it's not really that bad, but it's just like Having to prepare it and the cleanup and trying to record. It's a lot, guys, when, you, when you're doing it by yourself. Mm. But it's coming. It's coming. It's, it's, it's coming. Mm. Mm. Yep. And um, also, it's, I was saying it's my birthday season. It's also... Homecoming season for my alma mater, North Carolina Central University, Eagle Pride, Amplified. So homecoming is coming up. Um, that's going to be exciting. I think they got Megan Thee Stallion, Frankie Beverly and Maids, a good homecoming show family. We're playing against Norfolk State. So, um, yeah, I plan on attending at least Saturday. I won't be there like the whole week, but at least Saturday. So, yes, MCCU. Guys, I thank you all so much for joining me. Again, please like, share, comment on this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Yes, I said please. I was always taught to say please and thank you. I was taught to be pleasant, um, you know, act like you got some common um household manners. But uh I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold you guys any longer. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. I'm gonna finish this shit, get another bite of this chili dog. Y'all wanna see me take the last bite of this chili dog before I sign out? All right. Oh, that was a yes. Okay. Here we go. Mm. Love you guys so much. I appreciate all the time that you spent with me for taking time out of your busy day and evening to watch my videos. You don't know how much I appreciate it. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you soon with another video. Be blessed, stay blessed, and bless others. Love you guys. Peace. Good night.